Hello, good evening, and uh, we're trying another little video, um, slightly different because um, tomorrow we're going to be uh, showing a service at 10.30 on YouTube, um, but uh, there's no kids slot in that which we normally have at our 9.15 service. So this is a little kids slot um, so that um, uh, kids, families that would normally be with us uh, can enjoy and be encouraged as well. Um, so welcome, it's good to see you. Um, welcome to our lounge and to Toby, Olivia and Henry, and uh, Anna might come in, she's behind the camera. Um, it's a really odd time, isn't it? It's odd and a bit sad that we uh, we can't be together. I don't know whether you ever missed a party you were really looking forward to because maybe you had chicken pox and uh, you had spots all over you. Uh, maybe you even missed your own birthday party because you got um, poorly and um, it's a bit like that for lots of people. Uh, lots of people are worried. Um, but there are, well, there are some things that we should remind each other of, um, aren't there? Uh, that God is still good and God is still boss and Jesus is is still the king and uh, we're still God's people, the church, and we can encourage each other, which is why we're trying to do this. Uh, so why don't I pray? And I've got a few things strewn over this table just to um, encourage us. So let me uh, pray. Dear God, we ask uh, that um, you would help us to keep uh, fixing our eyes on Jesus, especially at the moment uh, with so much to worry us. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, well, I said I've got a few things um, down here. Um, the first thing I've got um, is a teaspoon. Teaspoon. I imagine you've got teaspoons in your house, and um, I'd love it if this little teaspoon could remind us uh, to pray. T S P is what you get written sometimes uh, when you're doing baking, and it stands for teaspoon. And um, uh, just at the end, we're going to say a thank you. T for thank you prayer, uh, an S for sorry prayer, and a puff for please prayer. Thank you, sorry please, and Toby. Olivia and Henry are going to say a prayer um, at the end. But I've also got a brick here, oh, which is a bit dirty and heavy. I found it in the garden this afternoon. And um, this brick reminds us, I said it was heavy, reminds us that um, uh, even though we can't meet together, uh, we still belong to God. And the Bible says that church isn't the big building over there, St Stephen's, which is empty. And it will be empty tomorrow on Sunday. Um, but church is God's people and God is still building his church. Um, so we're going to sing a song that we uh, we sing at church, brick after brick, uh, to help us remember uh, that um, God is still building his church, even though we can't be in the building tomorrow. And uh, we're going to sing it in here, and we're going to try, we've got um, the Ainsworths and the Dunnings um, here, so we're going to try this, Henry, so we're going to go three, two, one, and we're going to try and sing along with um, three families at once. This could go badly wrong. Here we go. so much to um, uh, the Dunnings and um, at the Ainsworths um, who were still singing. Um, I must have played it at a different speed last time. Uh, God is still building his people. What else have we got on the uh, table? I've got some um, pens uh, here, some colouring pens. Um, Anne
and a Bible. Um, do you know in the Bible there are uh, lots of different kinds of books, but there are letters and um, uh, there aren't any pictures uh, unless you have a children's Bible. But I was thinking, um, because we can't be meeting together, uh, lots of people in church have been phoning each other. Maybe um, you, uh, whilst you're not in school, um, could draw a little picture or write a little letter to someone that you know in church and, and mummy and daddy could help you to send it um, or post it uh, to someone. So that's what the pens remind you of. But also, um, uh, I'm going to uh, explain a little Bible verse for us and um, I'm going to send this to your mummy and daddy. And um, it says on here a verse from John chapter 4 verse 14. Uh, this would be a lovely verse to learn. And it says, whoever drinks the water I give him will never thirst. This is what Jesus said to a lady uh, who was uh, thirsty. She came to get uh, water from a well. Whoever drinks the water I give will never thirst. So I'm going to send this uh, to your uh, mummies and daddies. You can get some pens and colour it in. And it's got a water bottle on it like this, uh, except this one's blue and it's got writing on it. This has got a white water bottle on it. And the challenge is to design your own water bottle uh, design. Maybe Ooh. you can use any colours you like. Um, and um, if your mummies and daddies send it to me, then perhaps we can uh, choose which ones we really like. And um, um, maybe in a few weeks or months, maybe we can give you a price uh, for that as well. But um, have a design of your own water bottle. Um, but I'm going to read um, that verse and a couple of other verses from John's Gospel. So Jesus said to this woman, Everyone who drinks this water, the water in the well, will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks water I give him will never thirst Indeed, Jesus says, the water I give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Now, I've been in the garden this afternoon and I was working and uh, look at that. My bottle is empty. But Jesus says, if we go to him, we can drink from a well that will never run dry. Isn't that wonderful? Jesus met a lady who was thirsty and actually she wasn't really thirsty for water. She was thirsty for something that would satisfy her, that would make her happy. And she couldn't find it. And that was because she was worshipping the wrong thing. And um, she thought she was worshipping um, in the right place. Uh, but Jesus said, it doesn't really matter where you worship. It matters what you worship. And she was worshipping the wrong thing. So we're going to play a little game just to help us to remember this. Okay, It's a true false game. So you can play this at home. Okay, and what you have to do is if I say something and it's true, you've got to stand up and shout true like this. True. Okay, and then if it's false, you've got to sit down and shout. False. False. That wasn't very energetic. Sit down and shout. False. False. Okay, excellent. You can see we've practiced this. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go really quick. Birds live in trees. True. True. Oh, you took a bit of time there. Okay, moles live in holes. False. False. Very good. Okay, cats live in hats. False. I nearly made you stand up. Okay, uh, but fish live in the sea. True. True. The moon is in my garage. <laughs> True. Uh, no, see, that's the wrong place. She, she thought you had to worship somewhere special, but the True. moon is not in my garage. The sun is cold. False. True. The sun is cold. Toby, the sun is super hot. Don't ever touch it. Grass is green. True. True. Mountains are flat. False. Dogs go woof. True. True. Pigs go moo. False. False. You still, you still keeping up? Pigs don't go moo. Lions go gribbit. False. False. Sitting down, okay. Um, church is people. True. 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 Good listening, brick after brick. Yeah. Um, church has stopped. True. Ooh. Middle. Oh, middle. Interesting. Middle. Yeah. Squat. Yeah. Church is definitely flat. different, isn't it? We can't be at church tomorrow, but but we're being church and we're encouraging um, uh, people as well. God is still True. in charge. True. You were looking at the answer. Okay. Brilliant. Um, well done. Have a little uh, sit down. Well, Jesus. Um, goes on to tell this lady that he meets by this uh, by the well, this lady who's uh, looking for something to satisfy her thirst, not just water, but uh, the thirst in her whole life. And Jesus says, do you know, it doesn't matter where you worship, which is really good, isn't it? Because we would normally be in church tomorrow, but we can't be. But Jesus says it's not really about the right place or the wrong place. You don't have to be in church to worship God, um, but it really matters that we worship in the right way. Jesus says and the right way to worship is to worship Jesus to come to Jesus to come to Jesus with all of our hearts and to love him with all of our hearts and to want Jesus with all of our hearts and um, that's because Jesus says he is the living water and if we come to him we will never thirst and um, um, the 
the Bible actually goes on to say that uh, we were made, we were made uh, to worship Jesus. And if you try and fill uh, your heart and fill your life with anything else, whether it's lots of money um, or whether it's uh, the best toys or the best clothes um, or having the most friends, Jesus says you weren't made to be satisfied and happy and filled up with any of those things. Those are not the best things. Jesus is the best thing. He is the right way to worship. It doesn't matter where you worship, but worship Jesus. That's the right way to worship. And uh, because Jesus says he's the living water, well, we will never, ever be thirsty for anything if we come to Jesus. Wow. Wow. There's another kind of prayer we could pray. I'm going to say a wow prayer, and then we're going to come and we're going to say TSP. Can you remember? Thank you, please. Sorry, please. TSP with our teaspoon. Here we go. Let's, um, let's say a wow prayer. I'm going to put my hands in the air. Uh, wow, uh, God, for Jesus, who is the living water. Uh, help us to worship rightly, to worship Jesus as our King, and to not look uh, anywhere else for what only Jesus can give us. Wow, God. Amen. Amen. Dear God, thank you for all the doctors who have been having their Amen. 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 Dear God, sorry for wanting other things like money and games more than you, and please help us to remember that you are the most important. Amen. 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 Dear God, please help the virus to go and help us to trust you, even though we can't meet. Amen. 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 Thanks, guys. Well, should we finish uh, by saying uh, the Lord's Prayer? Um, uh, you can join in with this as well if you want to. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer that Jesus taught. Our Father in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be your name. name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Well, one of the things that we said is true is that God is... Uh, still God, he's still in control, and Jesus is the king. That's why he is uh, the one that we should worship. So we can sing Jesus is the king.
Let me say a little final prayer and then um, wish you good night. Well, dear God, thank you uh, that we can still um, meet at least like this and uh, look at the Bible and encourage each other. Uh, dear God, please help us to be true worshippers of Jesus. Help us uh, to love him with all of our hearts and to trust him, especially at the moment with so much to make us worried. Thank you that he's a great king and a good king and he is worthy of all our praise. In Jesus' name, we ask all these things. Amen. 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 Well, good night. Thanks for watching.